blurred or distorted alternating gray images. I'd rather, I'd rather die than be blind. A woman with a I, guide dog. I cried because nobody wants to be blind. Nobody wants to lose vision. Nobody wants to struggle through life. Only a central circle of light. There was some damage done to my optic nerves, which left me to lose a lot of my vision. I thought my life would be over. Several people using white canes at a marina. When people ask me, you know, it's the craziest thing you've ever done, it's like, oh, I race sailboats. In a sailboat, a man, eyes closed, wearing a life jacket. Matt Chow, blind sailor. All of a sudden, I hear, oh my God, he's blind. <laughs> Two, one. Sailboats glide in the marina. Sails fill with wind. A rope spins on a pulley. Matt with his dog at a train landing. It's as much an important aspect of my life as holding down a job. Sometimes it seems to be more of a priority than the job. It does give you a sense of control. Voice of Sengil Inkiala, blind Going sailor. That water is just the sense of freedom. Nancy Jadoin, blind sailor. I'm lost. I've never sailed before I lost my vision. And just being able to learn something new and, you know, have this great experience that I've never had before led me to believe that I could accomplish even greater things. Phil Cum, blind sailor. Joyce with her dog. In the mornings when I walk, get up, if I'm feeling overwhelmed, I walk by and just reach up and I touch it and remind myself, live in the now. A plaque, the word now. Did you sail in the, in the Charles River too? This is terrible. I, I don't know where we're sailing. <laughs> At an eye exam. You're going to see a very pretty blue light. I went there thinking I, I was seeing so much better. Can you see it through there? Hoping they would say, here's this prescription, we could help you. And yes, it's been three years, but you can have your driver's license back. In Kiala and Joyce playing Monopoly. I remember being a youngster, seeing blind people in a corner begging for money. We would go kick them. That's when I began to think, oh my Lord, now I'm blind. Margot Volterra, Matt's partner. Mother's always said she raised him just like she raised the others. <laughs> I actually rode, rode a bike, and if I misbehaved, I got spanked along with the rest of them. Matt dives in the surf at a beach. A gathering at a meal. Blind sailing has taught me not to shy away from challenges anymore, but to really take them on and, and see what happens. Still images. We are going to be sending two teams to the Blind Sailing World Championships that are going to be held in Japan. Arthur O'Neill, Carroll Center, Sail Blind Director. Brad Reed, Executive Director, Sail Newport. For more than 20 years now, we've been hosting the Blind National Sailing Championship. It's not just going for sailboat rides. Betsy Allison. It's actually competing and raising the level of their experience. The blind sailor is always the skipper of the boat, and he's in control. Maureen McKinnon, Paralympic gold medalist. I don't care how best you are as a sailor. You have eight book conversion one when you take a turn. Are you These people get nervous. So it can get very intense and very, very exciting. A boat tips. I do want to get to the worlds. I do want to get to the worlds in Japan. I just want to get out of the water. <laughs> it's war out there. Sense the wind. Coming soon with your help. Participate. Contribute. SenseTheWind.com